What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Heracross team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. This team right here was sent in by my boy Dan Beasy over on my Instagram page. Dan, thank you so much for dropping this team. I cannot wait to show it off. Rocking out on this team, we got Sharp in the top left corner with that Define ability. It is so good. You guys already know that. It kind of covers Intimidates a lot, so like Incineroars and all that good stuff we can actually get an attack boost instead of an attack drop we got the focus sash and then a move set of protect iron head sucker punch and of assurance we got kingdra swift swim kingdra over here i love this pokemon with leftovers dragon pulse and muddy water for stab ice beam for coverage and protect this thing's gonna pair well with the sableye right below because sableye has that rain dance we can set up that rain dance get swift swim rolling and go out from there speaking of sableye this thing also has the eject button so we can bounce back get another fake out prankster to give it first turn priority ally switch and encore as well we also got two of the starters two out of three we got grassy surge real boom and sniper intellion sniper intellion over here has that light orb so it can do big damage with snipe shot for stab air slash for coverage and speed boost when we dynamax dark pulse for coverage and protect real boom over here normal move set for this thing with that assault vest knock off you turn fake out and grass god i really do love real boom in this meta like i've been saying i think it is one of the, the top pokemon in the rank ladder as of today in the final spot, we got Heracross, brand new Pokemon right here that we haven't shown off yet with Moxie and Citrus Berry. I'm so hyped for this thing. This thing has Moxie? Come on. So every time we get a kill, we're going to get that plus one attack and get stronger and stronger. This thing has Mega Horn for stab, close combat for stab, throat shot to actually take out a voice Pokemon and protect. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom screen. But let's get back into the grind. Let's get onto this rank ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys, and I just realized it is a brand new season, so if anything has changed, let me know in the comment section down below, because seriously, I have no idea if there are any new rules, any new Pokemon allowed, or something like that. Seriously, let me know in the comment section down below. But this guy has a scrappy Kangaskhan. We just showed off that Pokemon, so I actually think I'm going to lead uh, Bisharp here, in case Defiant pops out, and Sableye. Sableye could be pretty good. You want to go scrappy, and I have a fake out in there as well, so we can roll out from there and see just how everything goes. Um, I kind of want to bring Heracross as well, and then in the final spot, we go Rillaboom or Inteleon. Rillaboom or Inteleon. Whom do I want? Whom? I mean, that uh, Toxico could have a uh, dry skin, but then Inteleon just rocks out. Inteleon just rocks out like, up against all this stuff, so I'm definitely going to go Inteleon here. Get rolling from there. Hmm. The only thing I'm worried about is a Rillaboom from him, but I have Mega Horn on this Heracross, and I could definitely do some work. Do you have any Trick Room? No, he just has Follow Me, all that good stuff. But well, let's get rolling with this. Hopefully he can trigger my Defiant right off the bat. Maybe go Incineroar. Then I can fake out as well and actually outspeed all of them. Because I do have that little Prankster ability. All that good stuff. But you guys probably been wondering, yo, Jeans, you missed a couple days uploading. Yeah, I've been away for the weekend. If you guys haven't checked out my last video, I know not everybody watched the Paper Mario series. But I said I was away for the weekend with my family. Did a little vacation. Not a little vacation. Just a little getaway for the weekend. Just kind of get get away and uh, take a break from all this COVID stuff going on. So I had a good time. and But we're back on the daily upload Ryan, and the streams are gonna start next week, so we we're ready to play. We're ready. We came here to play. Um, I could go sucker punch. I could go assurance as well. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think anyone's out. How fast is Bishop? Hold on. How fast is Bishop? Well, let me see how fast is Bishop is. See if I go into an assurance. I think Bishop's pretty fast. Actually, oh no, Bishop's rather slow. So I'm actually just gonna go into a fake out over on the to the Kangaskhan, and insurance over onto uh. Do I double up in the Kangaskhan? I'm gonna double up in the Kang's Kong. I'm gonna try to get this thing out of here. And then I'm going to uh, ally switch next turn. No way, you Dynamax. He is Dynamax. Yo, you crazy, man. You crazy, dog. This dude crazy. Who's Dynamax? It's gotta be the crew. But I'm kind of thinking he's gonna go Kang's Kong. Throw me a little curveball here. Let's see what you got. He is. Yo, you little hunk of junk. I should have faked out that Toxico. I seriously thought the Kang's Kong was gonna roll in here and try to throw uh, fake outs and all that good stuff. But you little biscuit. You little buttery biscuit. Fake outs gonna do nothing. And then Assurance is going to come out. Oof. Little biscuit, man. Vacuum wave coming out here. And oh no, he's doing dirty. He's going dirty, man. He's proccing weakness policies. This thing's popping off. He's going to go after my upper shark. Which is totally fine by me. Max Knuckle coming in here. He's going to get that boost. And Assurance is going to pop out here and do a uh, double damage here. The Sash is going to trigger as well. And then do I just roll a... Uh, this thing's got to be scrappy, so... I think I still maybe roll a... Uh, Hey, what's called here? An ally switch. Try to get off another shot. Assurance comes out. Yo, double damage. Not bad, yo. My boy coming up with big old damage. Um, do I sucker punch? I think I got a sucker punch, right? 
Break a punch over on the Kang's Kong, and then uh, maybe just do a ally switch. Let's do a little ally switch action. I think he's gonna pick up the double kill here. Hope this thing is not scrappy. It's gotta be scrappy, right? It's gotta be scrappy because Kang's Kong scrappy is awesome. The vacuum move comes out, and it does not affect save life. Beautiful, and Sucker Punch comes out here. We do so another nice hit, another nice hit coming out from him. Max Knuckles coming out here, and that is going to go after my save life side, right? Yep. So this thing is scrappy. We 100% know that now. Um, now I can Dynamax Inteleon. I think I got a Dynamax Inteleon here. Set a Rain Dance? I could set a Rain Dance. I can help him out tremendously. Or I could save my Inteleon for the back end. And just go Heracross here. But I, I don't think Heracross... How fast Heracross? I think it's outspeeding that Kang's Kong. 117. You know Inteleon's going to outspeed everything. Could just save the Heracross for the back end. Yeah, yo, let's go with our Life Orb boy. Let's go with our Life Orb boy. Maybe see if we, we get throw curveballs. I gotta watch out for that dry skin. I know that Toxic Croak has dry skin. Like, we already know this. We already know this. Um. Hmm. Mm hmm. I think I'm gonna go for a vacuum wave. We could encore it into it. But I'm definitely Dynamaxing. And do I go after Kangaskhan? Or do I predict the, uh. Could swap and predict the guard. I'm gonna predict the guard. Let's set, set up the rain dance. Set up the rain dance and then just go into an airstream. Over on the tox curve. I think that's the play. I think we predict the guard from the Kangaskhan. And we go after his tox curve. Get this rain dance off. I know I cannot go into a god. Like, that's fact. That's fact. Right now. I'm not dealing with it. And hopefully Kangaskhan uh, can go into the guard. We can take out tox curve and then take out Kangaskhan next turn. Now you have to worry about it. But I do also have the big threat of me ally switching around. All that good stuff is nice. So let's see what he does. Are you gonna go into a guard cut, sir? This is not. Toxic goes for a sucker punch, and it fails. You little booger. He, th he was reading the ally switch, and he does not go for the what's it called. He does not go for the uh, the guard, which stinks. So if you oh, he read the ally switch. He he's thinking ally switch here. He's thinking ally switch here, which is nice. Toxic should go down here. Oh, it's Sash. Of course it's Sash. Of course it's Sash. Can you hit my, uh, save by, please? Can you please hit my save by? Either take it out or, no, I'd rather just eject button so I get a fake out later. We do get a speed boost, but I cannot hit or do anything right now. Max Strike comes out here. Keep going after. Keep going after my Italian. Oof. Oof. Fiend's made a bad play. Your boy made a bad play. Ah! Come on! But I always do that. I always think too much. I always think too much. Like, this game probably could have been in the bag if we would have just went after Kang's Kong. But, but, your boy had to uh, try to make it the fanciest play of the week. And it did, did not work out. It did not work out whatsoever. So, can your boy clutch it up with Heracross? Can your boy clutch it up with Heracross? Bro, we had this game in the bag. We had it in the bag. And I had to overthink. Let me know in the comment section if you guys would like that too, because I know a lot of people are actually like that, which they overthink, and that's what gets you in Pokemon. It's just like it's more so, uh, it's more so the uh, the simple plays will win you game. Like if I would have just went normal and went after that Kangaskhan and not even like try to predict Max Yard, it would have been fine. But you know the deal there. Gunk Shot comes out here. Dave Black gonna take some big old damage here. Say bye. Let's eat up though. He says, "Yo, that's a tasty snacky out there. Not very effective." Of course, it gets poison. What you mean? Why do I get poisoned like that? Mega Horn comes out here. Get out of my face. We see you later, Kang's Kong. You're gone. Moxie Boost coming out here. Moxie Boost is coming out here. I'm not gonna ally switch this time. I'm gonna keep rolling here. I'm gonna keep rolling out here. Dry skin. Oh, dude, the rain is actually helping this dude out a lot. My Sableye can't do anything. He can only ally switch and just pest it around. I could Encore or something. But I feel like um I don't ally switch to take out the Toxic Croak here. Bam, bam, dun, dun. Come on, Heracross, you are the man, but he's gonna fake me out. That's why I do not ally switch. I'm not ally switching. I am not ally switching. I'm gonna take out the Toxic Curve and roll from here. Let's get it. I'm not doing this. I'm not dealing with this. We're going for that Mega Horn. Actually, no, we're not. We're gonna go for that Throw Chop. Because Throw Chop should be able to take out this. Actually, no, we're not. We're going for that Close Combat. I really want that Toxic Curve out of the way. But everything's not very effective. This will minus my defense, but we gotta get rid of this toxic group. We're going for it. I'm just gonna encore this thing. I'm gonna encore this thing. If I can encore maybe into a uh, Nobi Ghost Crash guy. Yo, leave me alone! Gunk shot's gonna come out here and take me out. 
No! Leave me alone! Miss! Miss! You hunk of junk. You hunk of junk. Eat it. Bro, what you mean? <laughs> All right, battle number one. We start off the season with a loss. Like I said, we could have won that match. I just played inside my head right there. We ended up not taking out the Kangaskhan, and they end up winning the game. Second battle here, going up against a Psy Spam team right here. Gotta watch out. Those teams are pretty annoying, and they are really, really strong. But hopefully we can get our first win for the new season. We are 0-1 right now. We made a little mistake in battle number one, but it's all good. It's all good. We're going to win this one for you guys. We are going to at least attempt to win this one for you guys. You guys already know I'm rusty. I haven't played in a good bit, but we chilling. We chilling. Um, who should I leave? Who should I leave? I mean, he's probably going to go with the Surge. So I might as well bring Robum in the back end so I can eventually change it and kind of roll out from there. Um, I feel like uh, Italian is a good lead here. Italian, he has nothing to like go defiant and all that good stuff. I'm fine with that. I am going to go save by though. I'm going to go stay by in case I want to set up the rain dance. Something along those lines. If he doesn't go for the surge, we can go from there. Actually, do I even go? Mm, I don't think so. Maybe Heracross here. Or do I just go Bashart? Bashart could be pretty nice. Yeah, I'm going to go Bashart. I'm going to go Bashart here. Bring out Rillaboom. And then uh, Heracross in the back end. As much as I do want Sableye here, I just feel like uh, the surges and all that stuff is just going to counteract him a lot here. So, no, no really point of bringing him in. No really point of bringing him in. Let's get rolling here. Can Jeans get a win for the new season? We're 0 1, like I said. Trying to get it. Trying to get it for you guys. I do love Heracross. I think Heracross is such a cool Pokemon. And I'm glad I'm getting him or and be able to show him off for you guys. And I think of other Pokemon I haven't shown off. If you guys do have teams for me, you guys already know the deal. Link in the description below. Jeans underscore YouTube over there. DM me games and potentially i'll use him but that's like, just like the best way to get him over to me but he just he does drop the second surge i know that this uh that this uh what's it called does outspeed me the alkazam will outspeed my Italian all day but i might just protect him he might, he's probably gonna go for an expanding force here and i might just roll out with an insurance and try to take one of these guys out because it will be double damage and i am sash but i'm just gonna protect Inteleon. just roll from there this thing wants to go for a follow me. That's fine. If he wants to go for a helping hand, that's totally fine as well. Here he goes follow me. Okay, so we are going to take damage. Bring us down to the sash. I'm totally fine with that. And I can sucker punch it next turn as well. Then if force comes out, get blocked. And then sash is going to trigger. It does not even affect me, yo, which is wonderful. We're coming out here. Bang, yo. Nice big insurance. Doing some mean damage. Um, I could actually uh, swap you out. I could. I could just swap him out. Or I could just go for a straight Dark Pulse. I'm thinking of just swapping him out. Changing the surge up. Hmm. And going for another insurance. But I do have a soul fest. But I'm gonna go there. And I'm just gonna go for another insurance over onto the Alkazam slot. Yeah, just change up the surge, make it do less damage when it comes into Roll Boom. And it has that assault vest. Soak it up a little bit more. Just teach a bit more. Which is just dandy. And then I can potentially uh, drop a fake out. That is huge. Bisharp was the call for the size man. Good old Bisharp, baby. Good old Bisharp. We cover that battlefield. Follow me's coming out here again. So indeed he will go down here. Bisharp's gonna take nothing. He's gotta be going for it, or he might not even go for another. Oh, he does. He does go for another expanding force over on this end. Uh Robum should be fine. Eat it up. Just dandy. Just dandy candy. Insurance comes out. Bye bye. We get rid of this little special Pokemon, and I could drop a sucker punch next turn. Well, I'm actually going to a uh, fake out that thing and then drop a sucker punch. Is that is that is that allowed? Can I fake out, make him flinch, and then go for that? I'd rather fake out and then go for an assurance. I think that, that would be the better part. Because I still do have my Focus Ash. Still do have my Focus Ash. And I can see this thing being Focus Ash as well. And that thing's going to die in max. So there's no point of even faking it out. I could just knock it off. But definitely want to fake out you. And then just take out you. I think we're cool with that. I think we're cool with it. Like I said, I still have Italian. Oh, he does not die in max. That could have been huge. Big out comes out. Okay, so what's called is dead. Alkazam's dead. High jump kick. Miss. Miss, please. Please do me a favor and miss. Miss me. No, but hits. But Sash is awesome. We got the Sash rolling here. And then I can roll into a Sucker Punch and a Grassy Glide and get some shots off on this thing before we do roll out. Insurance is definitely going to take out this thing. It is now double damage because we did take a hit. That's what I love about that move. If we do take damage during that turn, bang, turns into double damage now. Then it turns into base 120 power, right? Because it's 60. That's awesome. But now we doubling up into this thing. We gotta get rid of this Cinderace. It is now fighting type, so Grace I can do a little bit more damage onto it. How much I wanna knock off this item? How much I wanna take that item off? Let's see who he goes out into. He's gonna roll out into Tokus. Okay, so definitely follow me coming out here. Kinda scary. Kinda scary. A little bit, not really. 
Uh, we still gotta go for the glide. Try to get some damage off. And then I go for the Iron Head. Hmm. I said I just go for the Iron Head here. Let's see what you're gonna do. Let's see what you're gonna do. But I still do have Heracross, and I still have Inteleon in the back end. Well, is he gonna Dynamax Togekiss? You Dynamax and Togi Wogi? Please don't tell me you Dynamax and Togi. He is, yo. This dude crazy. This dude is nuts. Dynamax is Togekiss over Cinderace. That's a bold move. A bold, bold move. So now I'm, I'm still kind of scared. I'm scared with it. What happens here? Sucker Punch comes out. Oh, this thing's Sucker Punch. Me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. And he's going to go for the airstream. That's a fact. That's a fact. He's going to go for the airstream. Here's my glide. We glide. Good. Not bad damage. We can definitely take out the Cinderace next turn. Actually, no, we're dead here. Unless Assault Vest coming up clutch for us. Nope, Assault Vest. Stink. Stinky poo. This one's gonna be really, really close. It's gonna be really, really close. Like, super close. I think I have to protect Heracross and take out Cinderace. I think that is the total call here. I think that's the call. Take him out with an airstream. Try to boost our speed. Take advantage. Hmm. This one is going to be to the wire, man. Uh, get out here. We gotta protect Heracross. They're, they're gonna target him down all day long. And do I set the rain? I mean, the rain won't really do too too much. I'd rather get the airstream off. Do that. I'd rather Dynamax airstream over on your side. And then just protect. I think horn would be nice. Just bop him. But nah, we're gonna just protect here. I gotta play this one smart. Play a little slower here. Oh my god. Can jeans do it? We got a close one here. We got a close one. Come on, Heracross. I need you here. I need you here, man. More so, Inteleon's gonna be the one. If we're gonna win. It's gonna be Inteleon clutching it up. Let's get it. Come on, big lizard dude. You got sniper too. You can crit, man. But they're definitely gonna both outspeed me. Here comes my protect. He's gotta be going into like a pyro ball on me. You gotta go pyro ball onto my hair across side and then something else over my Italian. Then headbutt coming out here. You zen headbutting me, you little biscuit. Get blocked though. Get blocked. Get out of my face. This thing might not be rolling pyro ball. That could be a thing. Airstream's coming out. He's boosting speed again. Oh, over on Heracross. Bro, you really dump on my Heracross like that? You really dump on my Heracross like that with a crit? What you mean? Through my protect? Get it out of here. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Okay, so it comes down to a 2v1. Do I set the hail here? That's a real question. What's the play call? Airstream comes out. Nope. See you later. We get that plus one speed. I don't know if the Tokus will outspeed us now. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Will Togi Wogi outspeed us? He's plus two. I'm plus one. Do take some life or damage. He has no like uh, weakness policy trigger or anything. It's gotta be weakness policy. Like, it's definitely gotta be weakness policy. And it is definitely going to outspeed us because it just proved that it outspeed us on this plus one. I do. Oh, I thought I had what's it called. I definitely thought I had a. Uh, I thought I had a uh, ice beam on this thing. The Max Hailstorm, but it's totally fine. I'll go with the geyser, set that rain, and be able to drop another Max Geyser next turn. Let's see what happens. How much damage? Oh my god, if we hit it again, it should be game. We gotta be able to eat two shots from this thing. One Max Form shot, and then this next one. Let's see what happens here. Leave me alone. Airstream coming out here. Yo, eat it up, buddy. Say that's a tasty snack. Yeah, he really just crit me and won the game. What you mean? This, this game, man. This game. This thing's critting out the buns, man. Things critting out the buns. I think totally has speed advantage. It is game over. No! We dropped to 0 and 2, and I thought we played that battle very, very well. I thought we played that one so well too. Heracross got dumped on, yeah, which stinks. Um. Hmm. Like, I mean, I gotta go for a geyser. I have to hope this thing misses, and we gotta connect this geyser and end it. That's when Gleam comes in. That's game. Thank you, Pooh, man. Oh, and two right now. Yo, we got to win this third and final battle. We got to win this third and final battle because you guys are no deal. Your boy doesn't go 0 through. Your boy never goes 0 through. So let's hop into our third and final battle and get that win. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to get that win. This guy has Sandstorm with Intimidate Arcanine, Rotom, Amoongus, and Dragapult. And the Poltsky here. Um, who should I roll out? Who should I roll out? I definitely want to go with Sharp in case he wants to go for that Intimidate. That's totally fine by me. And we're chilling with that. You can intimidate me. I could just Dynamax and Wolf in there. Um, do I go with Sableye? Eventually, you get a fake out off. Mm, but he might go with Moongus. He might go with Moongus, which is kind of annoying. And then I could just go into. 
Let's try going to. I could go into Inteleon. That's not a bad lead here. I can Dynamax and do a lot with that. I could do a lot with him. He's just a dandy little Pokemon. I could change weather. I could do all that stuff. I might go. Hmm. Hmm. What's your boy want to go into? I definitely want to bring Harry Cross. Try to show him off. It's tough showing off Harry Cross. It is tough showing off Harry Cross because it just gets dumped on by so many things. So many things. And then the final spot that I go Rillaboom. Hmm. Right, Kingdra. Sableye. I don't want to go Sableye here. I just want to bring Sableye out here for later. I just want to bring out Sableye for later. But yeah, Heracross is such a cool Pokemon. It hits so hard, but it just gets dumped on by so many things. Fairy, Fire, Airstreams, Psychic, and Psy Spam is huge. It is huge right now. It just gets absolutely murked on by it. It's just so many weaknesses for it. It really is. I think Rock's super effective to it, too. Just like, come on. It just gets murked. He goes Pole and Amoongus. I kind of saw the Amoongus come out here. And this is why we brought Inteleon. I could just go for an Airstream. Gotta watch out for the Sleep Powders. Definitely gotta watch out for the Sleep Powders. You know that can be coming here. Um, hmm. I'm definitely going to... Oh, I do have Sucker Punch Assurance. I'm definitely gonna go for Assurance on this side. And I'm definitely gonna go to Dynamax here and go for an Airstream over onto the Moongus. Oh, this thing's probably holding the Cobra Berry. Ah, man! This thing's gotta be holding the Cobra Berry. He's gonna put my Inteleon to sleep. It's gonna be tough news. But hopefully, uh, the Dragon Pole can hit up on my, uh... My what's it called? Hopefully the Dragon Pulp can hit up on the Basharp. Assurance will get doubled and we can just dump on it right then and there. And then if it is Sash, we can just suck a punch roll out. But, but this Dragon Pulp did not Dynamax, which I'm kind of surprised at. Kind of surprised. Let's see what happens here. Is he going to ally switch? What's going on? He's going to Dragon Edge. You little smart cookie. You're smart cookie. Actually, not really smart cookie. Unless you put my Basharp suit. Let's see what happens. He's going to get the speed boost and he's going to get the attack boost. Let's see what happens. Here. Airstream comes out. Koba Berry's got to come out. Yeah. This thing's Koba berry -ing. He's gotta be Sporn. He's gotta be Sporn. Like, that's a straight back. Well, I'll take him out. Do some work. Nope. Nope. This thing just eats it up. Code Barry, thank you very much, said. Okay, so Assurance will come out here, which is awesome. And I can just sucker punch next turn. But we already know who's going to sleep. We already know what's called slumped. Assurance comes out. But he's just going to, uh, he's gotta be Sash, right? No, he's not Sash. Oh, that is wonderful. Holt gone. Get it out of here. I was gonna say, if it's Sash, then he's just going to uh, go in with Rage Powders on it. Good stuff. Spore comes out. Oh, big mistake, yo. He takes out the Basharp. And he leaves my Dynamax Mon open. He leaves him open. It's just dandy. It's just dandy. Okay. Awesome. We get rid of the Pult. Amoongus is just sitting here doing its thing. Uh, these are my Dynamax. We'll see in a second. Sandstream does come out here. Weather is annoying. We already know that. I do have Sableye. I do have Sableye still. And I'm going to try to protect. If I can get off this protect, it could be very, very nice. Um, and I'll definitely airstream try to get rid of this Amoongus. Amoongus might protect. Let's see what he does. Let's see what Amoongus does. Definitely Dynamax. Yeah, he Dynamax is a T-Tar. But the best part is, uh, once I get, once he gets rid of one of my Pokemons, then I can get out Save Light, go into the Rain Dance, and just change up the weather on him. Because he has to have Extra Drill on the back. That'd be T-Tar, Extra Drill, and then it was, uh, Amoongus and Dragon Ball. On, what you want bro. you don't want it you do not want it i'm telling you you do not want it i do have heracross so if i can get off a close combat that could be huge the sharp is slumped kind of saw that coming uh what is the movie going for a rage powder that's totally fine i wanted that anyway i wanted that anyway wanted it all day airstream comes out get him see you later we get that speed boost as well so i can change up the weather all my own it's definitely gonna go extra drill next turn or i might just guard I'm just guard next turn. We do get the crit from sniper ability. Yes, sir. Finally, we get a crit, man. That toe gets whooped on me last time with the crits. It's like, what you mean? I couldn't even get one. But it's fine. We already know about that toe kiss. Inteleon is going to lose some. It's probably going to go for a rock ball. Yep. Over onto Inteleon slot. Can my boy wake up soon? Can my boy wake up soon? Inteleon does eat. I think I got a guard here, right? I might be able to outspeed that. Uh, do I outspeed that extra? Oh no, he goes Arcanine, and Defiant's gonna pop out here. I'm so chilling with that. Timmy is coming out here. That's so fine with me. I'm fine with that. We outspeed all day. Okay, so we did not go X here. Did he even have X on his party? Let me check. Let me check. Hmm. He did have X he just didn't, he decided not to bring it. Uh, I'm just gonna change up the weather on my own. Going to an Iron Head. Over onto the T-Tar. I don't want him Max Garden. And not let me change up the weather. So I'm gonna just going to change up the weather on my own. And go after the Arcanine side. Because even if the Arcanine does protect. We're fine with it. If Kaiser comes out. That should be able to take out the Arcanine as well. 
Should be able to take out the Arcanine. We should be able to say Night Night. And battle number three is looking good in our favor, baby. We're looking good. And we still have Heracross in the back to close combat. Probably take that thing out in one shot because it is four times weakness to that. And then it's stab in close combat. It's just an absolute powerhouse of a move. Let's see what happens here. We're still asleep, Bob. Three turns sleep. That's not Or was that two turns sleep? No, I don't even know. But still. We're, we've been asleep for a while. Rock Ball comes out. Inteleon gone. Inteleon's out of here. Now we bring out the boy. Now we bring out the boy. Heracross. Can Heracross just clutch it up and finish this battle for us? To come in with a clone combat and do its dirty. This thing looks like it's paint that it is hilarious looking. Get it, Heracross. Like I said, guys, I do not go on win three. I do not do that. We do not do that. We're going to go one and two here. First battle we should have won. We definitely should have won. You guys already know that. Gene just made the bad play. Well, it wasn't really a bad play. I just overthought it. I already know that. I just overthought the play. Where should I go Mega Horn here? I don't know. This is way better to go for. It's four times. It's four times. I go for that close combat. But Sharp wakes up. Iron Head. Bop. Is this thing going to trigger Weeks Policy? Jeez, that's some big damage. That was plus one. And Weeks Policy is, trigger, is going to trigger. But Heracross should be able to outspeed. And finish this thing off with a close combat, right? Get it, Heracross. Get it, baby. Yes, sir. Heracross comes in here. Cleans it up. The boy finally gets a little show off here. Picks up the final kill. And we get our first win. First and only win for this video. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Get out of my face. Get wrecked. We absolutely dominated that battle. That was pretty hype. Awesome team right here. Dan, thank you so much for dropping it. I really do appreciate it. One thing I do wish about Heracross is he does not get dumped on by so many things. He just gets marked by every single typing, but he is so strong. But it was definitely fun showing him off. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.